Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites video. I honestly say it every video, but this one feels like I just filmed my last favorites. But before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I'm so excited to have you here with me and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's get into these favorites. I'm going to do the favorite fragrances first and then I'm gonna move on to a little bit of body care and a little bit of makeup like I always do. So let's get right into it. The first favorites for this month are going to be the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love fragrances. I have also Sweet right here and then I have the Days right here. And I have been loving these so, so much. These are just some of the most easy fragrances to just pick it up, throw it on. It's not going to be too much. You're not going to get a headache. You're not going to feel like you are wearing too much of a strong fragrance. I mean, they are crowd pleasing fragrances. They're beautiful. They smell really sweet, really nice. And I just love them. This one is super, super sweet and girly. And then this one to me is a little bit more grown up, but still fun, flirty and sweet. They're still very, very sweet, but this one just has a little more oomph to it as a fragrance. But these two are just beautiful for springtime. I have been enjoying them so, so much and I have just been picking them up and splashing them on every chance I get. Next up, I have also really been enjoying my Skylar fragrances. So here I have Pink Canyon and Coconut Cove. So Pink Canyon reminds me a lot of Mac Turquatic. It's really, really refreshing. It has like this salty vibe to it, but it's still really girly. At the same time, I get, oh, it's so good. This is the closest that I can find to Turquatic, but it's still beautiful in its own way. It's not like an exact dupe, but it reminds me so much of it. It's it's like a fresh fragrance, perfect for spring. It's airy, has a little bit of that saltiness in it, a little bit of citrus, really, really nice fragrance. And then the Coconut Cove is not your sweet synthetic coconut that you get in every single summer fragrance, which I love coconut, so I'm not complaining. But if you want a different coconut, this is a coconut and lime type of scent. And it just smells like the most refreshing cocktail. Like you're at a cruise or you're on vacation and you have like one of those coconuts, but you have something like with lime inside. So, so good. I love this one. Next up, I have also been using this one a lot. And this is from Giorgio Armani. Terra de Joya. As you can see, that dent is pretty big. This one is just so comforting, so easy to wear as well. This one's more on like the grounding side of fragrances. So the Marc Jacobs one are very sweet. These are very fresh and perfect for spring. This one is like a year round type of fragrance. It's a little nutty, it's sweet. It's beautiful. It opens up with that jasmine. But then when that almond starts to come through and mix with your skin, it turns into like this very sweet jasmine almondy type of scent. Very, very nice. When I run out of this one, I think I might want to buy it again because it's beautiful. Next up, I have been really using this one up a lot as well. And this is the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Rose. As you can see, that dent is pretty big as well. This one's just your fun, fruity spring fragrance. You don't have to think too much about it. I get a lot of apple in this one. Very fresh, shampoo, clean, right out the shower. Not trying too hard type of fragrance. I wear this one when I'm going to go do errands, when I'm just going to go pick up some food with my husband, just anything. This one also has a lot of peach in it as well, which I didn't pick up as much when I first got it. 
but lately i've been picking up more on the peach in it and i am loving it so so much very refreshing easy to wear fragrance and for my last fragrance i was just craving this one and this is ellie Saab girl of now shine so this one has a beautiful pineapple note to it and every time i wear these fragrances from ellie Saab, it's just so beautiful the pineapple in here so sweet so juicy just the perfect pineapple it's not tart it's not sour i have been getting a lot of products lately that claim to be pineapple but they smell more like pineapple soda so they have like a fizzy touch to it this is pineapple juicy sweet pineapple along with those other notes like in the girl of now the original one the pineapple just makes it very sweet very perfect for spring and summer so i am going to be wearing this one more but i did use it a lot this month as well now for body care i have really been using up the spring collection from bath and body works the whipped berry meringue and the peach prosecco macaron i really wore these a ton for the month of march and i still have about half left on both of them so not sure if i'm going to keep using them because i want to switch over to my more fresh scents and these are kind of like on the really sweet side so i'm not too sure if i'm going to keep using them or saving them for next year because my creams don't really go bad haven't really had that happen to me and then for body wash, I was using the Peach Prosecco Macaron this month. As you can see, it's halfway done. This layered and then with the fragrance mist. If I wear it at nighttime, I can still smell it in the morning and it stays on my clothes for a really long time. And to mix with my body lotions or body creams, I have been loving loving this oil. And this is from Necessaire and this is the body oil. And this is fragrance free so it doesn't have no scent to it you can mix it with any of your body care and what i do is i squirt some of my lotion on my hand and then i'll take this dropper and whatever is in there it's not the whole dropper it's about half i will squish it onto the body cream rub it all together and put it all over my body and it is so beautiful it doesn't feel too oily too sticky but you feel super moisturized when you use this so i'm not sure how much i have left of this because the bottle is not see-through but it is a nice heavy bottle and i still have a lot in here and i use it every single night so this one's really good so now what we're going to talk about makeup and the first thing i want to talk about is the importance of using a sunscreen which i'm saying it to myself as well because i don't wear it every day and i should it prevents any sunspots aging it's just really good for you and my favorite sunscreen that i have been loving is this super goop glow screen so this is how it looks and i love this because it just leaves a very dewy look to the skin before your makeup i'm wearing it today underneath my foundation and it just leaves your skin really glowy and like almost like glass skin and you're getting the benefits of sunscreen as well and it doesn't mess up any of my makeup products or change the formula in them or anything everything lays really nice on top of it so i definitely recommend this one and i believe they also have one that is not glowy for people who have oily skin and they don't want the dewy look they also have one that is more mattifying for foundation, my favorite at the moment is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I'm still loving the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, but this one has entered the chat. <laughs> this is the HD Skin Undetectable Foundation. I have it in the shade 1N14. It looks like skin. I'm not wearing it today because I am doing a foundation review on a new foundation. I bought a ton of foundations recently but this one dries to a skin finish it looks natural it has good coverage you can build it up i would say it's medium to full coverage and it just moves with your face so usually i get like really dry and just the product builds up on my nose on my smile lines and everything and with this foundation i don't get none of that it kind of just moves with my skin and it wears really really nice so i really recommend this foundation for my brows, you guys, 
I have been going through a struggle. Like I think every one of my videos, my brows look different because I've been trying brow products to see what works, what doesn't work. Some days they look good, some days they look horrible. But I have found that this combo right here is my all time favorite. It's what I have on my brows right now. It looks like I spent so much time filling in my brows and giving them shape. And you guys, it is the quickest brow routine I have ever done. So this is the NYX Thicket Stick It. And I have it in the shade Brunette. So this has little fibers in it. It's a thickening brow mascara. So it comes with a little brush and it has little fibers and you just brush on your brows and they cling onto your brows and it makes it look like they're fuller, like you have more brows and it gives like that tint. So what I do is I just apply it really messy all over. They don't look like they don't have any shape to them, but I make sure to, you kind of know where you want to add more volume. So I just start brushing and doing that. And then once I see that they're all coated, then I go in with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer, the one that comes in the pot, and I shape them to how I want, and the fade and everything, that's just, I don't do anything extra. If I feel like I'm missing a few little flicks in certain areas, I'll go in with the lift and snatch brow tint pen from nyx and this is in the shade ash brown and it just creates like hair like strokes and i put it towards the front and call it a day and i'm done with my brows so this is an amazing combo affordable i love it so much for my cheeks i have been really enjoying the danessa myricks dewy cheek and lip palette i have been using it like three times in a row got it recently but i'm adding it in the monthly favorites because it's a favorite so here is the palette really really nice i've been really just playing around with this shade but i have to get into the other ones it just leaves a very glowy very nice look to the skin you can use it on your lips as well i haven't tried that yet but on the cheeks it is beautiful for dry skin if you have oily skin i'm not sure people are still using cream products even though they have oily skin just make sure to set with a powder and then i'm gonna talk about a few lippies and we are done so for lip glosses, I have been loving the NYX. This is Milky Glosses. This is one of the shades. I have two of them. This is the Milk and Honey. I recently got this in a haul. And it is the perfect peachy nude lip gloss. So you can see right there. It just gives you very shiny lips. So I have been loving this one a lot. And then the Patrick Ta Pouty. What is this? major volume plumping gloss this was recently launched at sephora and this is like this one's hard to see because it's almost clear up at the top it just it's a baby pink lip gloss with light reflex it just makes your lips look very juicy it does have like that plumping effect but it's not crazy it doesn't sting or anything like that it just they feel a little bit cooling on the lips very very comfortable sometimes i get a little irritated with the plumping ones because they get real intense this is not like that it's very wearable it just makes your lips look very smooth and nice and then these two lipsticks have been my favorite so anastasia beverly hills warm peach satin lipstick is what i'm wearing right now on my lips it looks like this it's a peachy nude color. Here is a swatch of it. Really, really pretty. So that is what I'm what is on my lips right now. And then this Fenty Beauty lipstick in the shade Pose Queen. I messed my lipstick up when I got my little compact or lipstick holder. I turned it and I didn't know, but it is beautiful and i do want more shades from this line but this is pose queen it's a little bit more mauve -y, pink undertone still a nude really really nice lipstick so that brings me to the end of my video those are my favorites for the month of march i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what are some items that you totally loved in the month of march 
and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video